What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Florida Panthers. Uh, likely, in all likelihood, I'd say 99.9% .9 not being able to sign uh, Zach Iman, their fifth round pick in 2010. We had a really, really good senior year at the University of Michigan. Um, really lighting it up, you know, after being kind of a utility player for three years, becoming a headline scorer, one of the top scorers in college hockey. Um, you know, I think he had more points this year than he did in the previous three years combined. <clears throat> at Michigan, and you know you can go the free agent route, and uh, <clears throat> you know definitely capitalize on you know the great year he had. Um, the Panthers control his rights until August 15th, so they can definitely, if they want to move him, can can do that. Uh, I think it's funny they did a similar thing with uh, Corbin Knight uh, from Dakota two years ago. The Panthers did, and uh, ironically traded for him like two years later. So it's kind of you know, you, you might get out of Florida, but if they want you, they'll get you whatever way they want. And, uh, you know, I, I understand it. You know, you want to go get the best offer you can get your hands on. You know, because there's a finite number of, um, you know, years you can play pro hockey. And, you know, to get as much money as possible, you know, go to the best offer um, is a wise move. You know, every team in hockey will be knocking on the door on them if he gets free agency. Uh, what I think will happen is again what the the corporate situation teams will have a, a handshake deal they give Florida a draft pick the kid signs with them you know life moves on um, I think that's probably the best way to put it and you know Florida's gonna be looking for organizational help at forward um, you know so it's a shame this kid can't do it but or doesn't you know what I mean um, but they really got a great young nucleus in Florida and my question with Hyman is that I think he's gonna be a good player but you know what is his NHL upside I mean he was you know a nice bit player energy player type at Michigan his first three years there then this year really breaks out and has you know what are you I think 50, 52 points I'll get it right here nine points as a freshman nine points as a sophomore 17 as a junior and then 54 as a uh, as a senior so in his first three years of college, 35 points, and then, again, you know, really just stepped it up. And, you know, his game and his role expanded, but, you know, let, let's look at it. Let's look at the big picture. Uh, one really, really good year of college doesn't mean, you know, you're going to be the next Joe Newendike. So, you know, I think it's – you obviously want to get – you want to sign and keep the players you draft, but I don't think it's going to derail Florida's uh, youth movement too badly. And I, I think Hyman is a shot to play in the league, but I don't think he's going to be, you know, again, Joe Newendike. And I just threw Newendike in there because I believe behind he's one of the highest scoring college hockey players of all time behind Brett Hall. You have to double check that. Anyway, that's like sort of the power of play with CJ on the Florida Panthers not being able to sign Zach Hyman. Stay tuned for more episodes with the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.